high quality craftsmanship is standard operation at electric power door and has been for over 70 years. The final step of installation is filling the hydraulic components with oil. The hydraulic pump is used to fill the system and bleed air from the components. Begin by filling the reservoir tank with the low temperature hydraulic fluid supplied. Fill the reservoir tank until the oil level reaches the black line on the sight glass. Make sure to only fill the reservoir when the doors are in the fully closed position. Filling the reservoir to the top of the sight glass while the doors are open could cause the reservoir to rupture when the doors are closed. To check for correct rotation of the motor, watch the fan on the motor while pressing the open button and then quickly pushing the stop button. Check the fan rotation in comparison with the directional arrow on the motor. Change wiring if necessary to provide correct rotation. The open-close hydraulic directional control valve is normally electrically operated by the solenoids on each end of the valve. When activated in the open direction, it directs the flow of oil to the base end of the cylinders to make the door open. When it is activated in the opposite direction, it causes the oil to be directed to the rod end of the cylinders to close the door. After the directional control valve directs the oil in the open or closed direction, the oil flows to the divider combiner valve that splits the volume of oil equally to the left and right hand operators, causing them to operate at similar speeds. It can also be operated manually by pushing the small button located at each of the solenoids. EPD has obtained the directional control valve from various valve manufacturers to use in our power units. Power units manufactured before 1994 have valves that may look different from the valve mounted on our present hydraulic units. Even though the valves look different, they all function similarly when wired to the appropriate connection points. Depressing the plungers at each end of the valve can manually operate all of the valves. The solenoid activating cushioning valve is located on the back side of the manifold. The cushioning valve cannot be manually operated. When this valve is electrified by the multifunction position switch, it causes the door to slow down at the end of the opening and closing cycles. The final closing speed is adjusted by turning the F5 valve. The cushion for the opening direction is adjusted with the F6 valve. Begin removing air in the hydraulic system by opening the bleeding valve located on the hydraulic operators. Also, open the small shutoff valve located at the base of the pressure gauge so the hydraulic oil pressure can be monitored on the gauge when the pump is operated. Verify that the three black manual operation knobs are fully closed. The hydraulic system can be semi-automatically bled even if the electrical wiring is incomplete, as long as there is electrical power to run the motor. This might be necessary if the door installer is not responsible for the electrical installation and hookup. Make sure to use the wedges to hold the door shut before proceeding with the bleeding operations. And make sure to keep the area around the doors clear of people and equipment since the doors can move while the system is being bled. Sometimes the door might move in the open direction, even when the closed push buttons are pressed. So be prepared and stay clear. If all the wiring has been completed, start the pump motor by pushing the close button on the push button station. If all the wiring has not been completed, Start the motor manually and then push in the manual operation button for the closed direction. This will push fluid through the system. Watch the fluid level sight glass to monitor the hydraulic fluid. Also watch the oil pressure gauge making sure to stop pumping if the pressure exceeds 1200 PSI. Push the stop button or release the manual push button when the fluid level approaches the red line. Do not allow the fluid to drop below the red line in the sight glass. If the pump is run with the oil level below the red line, air might be pumped back into the circuit. Refill the reservoir as necessary. Continue operation in the closed position until the hydraulic fluid no longer drops. Run the hydraulic pump in the open direction using the electrical or manual open push buttons. The wedges holding the door closed can be left in place as long as the bleeder valves on the cylinders are fully open. Monitor hydraulic fluid so not to go below the red line on the sight glass. Refill the reservoir as necessary. Continue running the pump and operating the valve in the open direction 
until there is no drop in the hydraulic fluid. Close both bleeder valves approximately one-third and remove the wedges holding the door shut. Operate the hydraulic pump unit in both open and closed directions using either the push buttons or manually operating the solenoid valves. The door may start to move in one direction or the other when the bleeder valves are approximately one-third closed. After operating the door for a few cycles, move the bleeder valves to the two-thirds closed position and continue to operate the door in both open and closed directions. Make sure to monitor the hydraulic fluid so that it does not drop below the red line in the sight glass. The bleeder valves can be completely closed after cycling the door a few more times. At this point, almost all the air in the system has been removed. The EPD factory and local sales representatives are always available to help with any of your questions regarding the installation or operation of our doors. Please feel free to call us toll free at 1-800-346-5760 or fax us at 218-262-6478. Make sure to check out our new door developments on the internet by viewing our website at electricpowerdoor.com and email us at mail at electricpowerdoor.com. Thank you for choosing Electric Power Door.